In the next two minutes, the driver of this stolen escort cabriolet is going to break just about all those rules. Wrong side of the road, wrong side of the road, back towards Preston. Vehicle uh, passing Lear Police Station on the wrong side of the road, Roger. Lancashire police have good reason for wanting to stop this man. They believe this is the second car he's stolen today. He abandoned the first one on the other side of the country after a pursuit in which a police vehicle was damaged. He's wanted for a string of vehicle crimes, drugs offences and robberies. Tolkus bro, still at speed. Lots of traffic ahead of him, the wrong side of the road. The vehicle, Tolkus bro, a lot of traffic in front of doing a right, a right, right onto Tolkas Road. Heavy rain means the roads are extremely treacherous. The police policy is to avoid anything that will make his driving more reckless. Going towards the docks. So whilst the helicopter keeps watch overhead, just one patrol car maintains visual contact from a discreet distance. You're the only patrol in contact. Yeah, there's no other vehicles behind it. So the traffic lights, um, he's going through the traffic lights. It's been at RTA, outside McDonald's, out, there's been an accident outside McDonald's. And even though the car is badly damaged, the driver carries on. He's going straight ahead, straight ahead towards the roundabouts, towards the roundabout. The police policy of keeping their distance is paying off. The driver has at least slowed down. Get a number two, one, use channel eight, nine if the vehicle is abandoned. Uh, overtaking now, approaching the uh, roundabout like by Dutton Forshaw. But roundabout now, Dutton Forshaw. Approaching the roundabout now. Out. It's wrong side of the road, wrong side of the road. The vehicle using the wrong... And he's turned right at the roundabout, right at the roundabout. Passing at the UCI Cinema, UCI Cinema. Approaching the UCI Cinema now, Roger. Stand by, he's turning right into the cinema, into the cinema. Stand by. Turning right into the cinema car park, Roger. Yeah, he's at the back of the cinema, back of the cinema, he's bailing, he's bailing, and the driver is running towards the back of the cinema, back of the cinema. The vehicle now... Yeah, he's going into the cinema, he's going into the cinema, he's got a green jacket, a green jacket, he's going into the cinema, he's running round to the front of the cinema. The vehicle uh, now abandoned the occupant of the... Yeah, he's gone into the cinema, he's gone into the cinema now. Tango 30, Roger, the uh, person from the vehicle has now entered uh, the front... Yeah, he's gone into the cinema, into the cinema. He's wearing a green jacket, uh, just run into the UCI cinema. Limit Tango 30, receive. Oscar November 2-1. Oscar November 2-1. Yes, for information, uh, there are three patrols at the front and they've gone into the cinema. We'll be covering the back of the cinema in case he comes out. Oscar November 2-1, reporting three patrols entered the front of the cinema, uh, covering the rear in case he uh, comes out there, Roger. But this is one cinema goer who isn't even going to have time to catch the previews. Oscar November 2-1 to BD. Oscar November 2-1. Yes, for your information, we've heard on PR that one has been arrested inside. Oscar November 2-1, uh, reporting one arrested, Roger. He was later convicted of a string of offences, including aggravated vehicle theft, dangerous driving and drugs offences. He was sentenced to two and a half years in prison and banned from driving for three years.